on the name Good evening thanks a lot for staying with us here at CNN News 18 I'm Ridhima Bhatnagar If you're active on platforms like Telegram and Signal you need to watch this If you're a crypto user or an investor you need to hear this People usually think that apps like Telegram and Signal are like any other chat apps out there but today these platforms are being used to rob you of your hard earned money you will be made to believe that your money will be doubled or your fortune will double but in fact the reality is that these fraudsters will rob you of every single penny this is a mega scene in news 18 exclusive victims are lured on platforms like telegram They are made to join groups and before you know the fraudsters have full control of your hard earned money many have now fallen in this trap and many have lost their lives as well this is how you can protect yourself take a look at this exclusive investigation and report which has been filed by my colleague yash koel This mother's tears are a testament of how the dark world of online frauds has gripped India. Her 19-year-old boy Hardik died by suicide because of an online fraud of 1 lakh rupees. Main ghar aati hu do teen beech pe fir mujhe uska call aata hai ki mummy khana bana lena main thodi der mein aa jaunga. Lekin fir ek ghante baad usse ke phone se phone aata hai ki aap apne bete ko dekhne aa jaiye hospital mein Florence hospital mein. जब हम वहां जाकर देखते हैं तो हमें उसकी बॉडी दिखा दी जाती है कि आपके बेटे में अब कुछ नहीं है पुलिस कह रही है कि उसने सुसाइड किया उसने सुसाइड नहीं किया है वो सुसाइड कर ही नहीं सकता था जो बच्चा ऊंचाई में देखने से डरता था वो उन्नीसवीं मंजिल से कैसे गिरकर सुसाइड कर सकता है ये सुसाइड नहीं है उसकी हत्या की गई है Fraudsters have a new modus operandi to extract money from their victims. In the post-COVID world, cryptos became a popular asset class amongst the youth to make a quick buck. And this is exactly how fraudsters are preying on the gullible and ill-informed. CNN News 18 spoke to several victims of this heinous crime. Ga hum expert trader hain. Aapke hum help kar sakte hain profit ke liye in sab cheez ke liye. तो उन, उन केस में उन्होंने मुझे कुछ आईडीज कुछ अकाउंट्स दिखाए कि हाँ इतना प्रॉफिटेबल है ये है समथिंग देन उन्होंने मुझे कुछ अपने जो उनके हेड होंगे उन्होंने टेलीग्राम का आईडी दे दी देन टेलीग्राम से मेरी चैट स्टार्ट हुई उन्होंने कहा ठीक है आपको कितना स्टार्ट करना है मिनिमम अमाउंट फाइव थाउजेंड जो भी है तो अराउंड करते करते मैंने उन्हें अराउंड वन पे कर दिया तो बीच में उन्होंने मुझसे कुछ चेक और फीस मांगी थी तो फिर मुझे माइंड में स्ट्रक किया कि नहीं ये एक तरीके से फ्रॉड हो गया So let's understand how a person is lured by criminals to invest. Telegram, the famous messaging app is the medium of choice of swindlers. When the victim joins Telegram, they are made part of a crypto investment group without consent. Then using guerrilla marketing techniques, victims are made to believe that making huge profits via investing is mere a few clicks away. Once the person is convinced, they are provided with a link which will direct them to fraudsters website. Looking at the website, the victims are assured that there is no foul play because crypto exchanges like Binance are used to make investments. When the victim moves on to make final investment, they are directed to the Binance website. Though there is a loophole which the investors is unaware of. A person need to have a crypto wallet in order to store the purchased coin or cryptocurrency. But the fraudsters have already filled their wallet details on the crypto exchange in order to take away the purchase made by the victim. The victim is still unaware of the fact that the cryptocurrency purchased is not with them, but it has been taken away by the fraudsters. Once the first transaction is made, fraud keeps happening on the loop and the investor is made to repeatedly invest by being given a false picture of how their money keeps on growing with each purchase. The victim continues to track their investment on the fraudsters website, but the purchased asset is not with them. And when it comes to withdrawal, the fraudsters seek more money in the name of withdrawal fee and taxes. And finally, the website disappears and the victim is left with nothing in the end. The cybercrime cell of Delhi police has also taken cognizance of these financial frauds. Several accounts have been tracked and traced by the police. Delhi police is uh, investigating such cases before also, but this is a new modus operandi which is coming up where uh, 
the people who are looking for investigation uh, 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 sorry uh, for uh, investing the money uh, they are being approached to, through telegram app otherwise there were cases earlier also where the people people are duped in the name of investment in cryptocurrencies so we are on to it and we'll definitely crack it down as per delhi police the origin of these crimes are mainly from countries like china and hong kong delhi police has maintained that the fraudsters are using proxies to dupe indian nationals according to investigation agencies chinese citizens or firms are involved in most of these scams and malpractices as per cyber experts in india the money extracted by these fraudsters could be used for terror financing and money laundering they also flagged off the untenable role of the dragon we got many such complaints from especially from south of india and then maharashtra now it started uh, in in northern side as well uh, but it is uh, really difficult to invest investigate in such cases because uh, most of these people are hidden behind vpns uh, their websites are hosted out of india mostly in china and other uh, russian countries and eventually they they were used in money laundering operations or probably terrorist funding and many other illegal activities as per ncrb's latest data there is an uptick in economic offenses in india as well as a rise in cyber crimes in fact fraudsters are resorting to newer modus operandi to dupe people first via chinese loan apps and now the telegram has become a go to place for these fraudsters the need of the r is to implement the cyber laws in a more stringent manner and also the people need to understand about these financial frauds in pursuit of quick and easy money a lot of lives are being lost and in fact the money extracted by these fraudsters is being used against india this is yash goel with video journalist narayan singh and vikas rawat for cnn news 18 and my colleague yash who in fact has filed this report for us he is now joining us live on the broadcast Yash first of all congratulations on this very crucial investigation that you filed for us as you were rightly pointing out the biggest concern seems to be these proxy servers that are working in Hong Kong or in China something similar that we saw with the Chinese loan apps as well but speaking specifically as far as this telegram scam is concerned do we have any data to understand how many victims have already fallen prey to this scam Well, Ritima, this is very tough to answer because this is the newest modus operandi which the fraudsters have resorted to. In fact, the Delhi Police has uh, reported very less cases of this particular modus operandi, but the police has maintained that there is a uptick in these sorts of cases. And in fact, like you rightly mentioned, proxies and VPNs are being used by these fraudsters. Yeah. Uh, we have to understand that when there was a case of the Chinese loan apps, in fact, uh, the police had somewhere to go uh, because. there were chinese firms and chinese people involved in these particular scams but they need to hire someone in the uh, in the geographical boundaries of india to actually make those calls to the victims yeah. and to extract money so there was someone where the police could go and catch that particular person but in this case in this particular modus operandi uh, the middleman has been eliminated by the police mm -hmm. uh, by uh, by the uh, uh, accused by the victim, by the accused in this particular case and in fact when it comes to telegram direct proxies and vpn servers are being used by these yeah. fraudsters so it is becoming very tough for the police also to crack these cases but but the delhi police has all uh, has already maintained that uh, the cases uh, they are investigating they were able to crack certain cases but uh, st till now uh, till now certain people are also being investigated in this case who were actually acted as a middleman yeah. uh, when we talk about this particular case in fact one of the victims uh, to whom we spoke to uh, mr ankur kaushik he also said that there was one person who contacted him regarding these very uh, investments via telegram app hmm. but still it uh, largely remains to be unseen uh, it largely remains to be unseen whether uh, all who uh, those who are involved in this scam uh, can be nabbed by the police or not because when we True. talk about these proxy servers it is very tough to actually uh, locate uh, these people on the uh, uh, on the and basis of the geo location because know, most of these people are problematic based on what is also becoming equally problematic and something similar that we saw with the chinese loan apps and this time around as well is how well they mirror the original apps so you just don't realize whether you are on a real app or are you chatting with fraudsters so what are officials and authorities telling you what is going to be the solution to ensure that people realize and a red flag goes up that possibly i'm being scammed 
Well, uh, we also, uh, when uh, uh, sources in the finance ministry have told CNN News 18 that the government is continuously working to educate more and more people because yes. we have to understand this. Uh, the uh, the main reason uh, is to why people fall prey to these sorts of scams uh, is uh, because of the lack of knowledge. So what the government of India is doing, they are running many such campaigns to actually educate people and also certain laws were also enacted by the mm. government of India. In fact, some time back, uh, if I correctly remember, certain Chinese apps were also banned by the government. So right now the government, uh, there are two steps which the government is taking in uh, in this particular uh, in this particular uh, manner. That first they are enacting certain stringent laws and second okay. uh, they are educating people about these camps. Okay, Yash, we leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. We of course now want to take our viewers through of what really is happening as far as the modus operandi of this entire scam is concerned. Let's break down those details of how our victims duped and before you realize your entire money is in the hands of these fraudsters. This is a big CNN News 18 expose. Let's break down the details. The victims are made to join an investment group on platforms like Telegram. Now, what is the victim made to believe at this point that this is not a Ponzi scheme? So essentially, you will be made to believe that your money and your fortunes will in fact double in a fortnight or in a month and you fall prey to a scam like this. The victim after that is then provided with a link to the fraudster's website to further invest his or her money. And this is where it becomes extremely problematic because this is where the trap begins. The victim uses the fraudster's website to invest via the Binance crypto exchange. And a lot of questions now being raised on the authenticity of crypto exchanges as well. The victim is then directed to Binance site to make the final investment. And this is where the fraudster actually takes away all the purchase that has been made by you, the victim. And the fraud actually keeps happening on loop with every single transaction. So by the end of the day, all your money is actually in the hands of these fraudsters. And that is why we thought it's going to be very crucial for us to tell you how you can protect yourself. What are the steps that you should keep in mind? How do you identify scammers on platforms like Telegram? So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is fake lotteries and giveaways. That should be a red flag in your head. So you should never send any funds to any unknown address. That's a complete no-no. You also need to know that blockchain transactions can't be reversed. So that also should be a red flag for you. The second is fake P2P trading, which means scammers may prompt that the website is not working, which means they will ask you to trade directly via these particular apps. And again, that should be a red flag and you should avoid it. The third is you'll also have a lot of these scamsters who will impersonate official handles. So you should always cross verify and cross check before sharing any crucial information to so always see one thing. Major platforms will have a live chat on their official websites. If it's not there, then also you should realize that probably this is a fraud or this is a scam. More importantly, liquidity mining scams, that's also becoming very, very prevalent. Scammers here create fake websites to lure investment from victims. So be extremely careful before you connect any wallets because scammers will drain you of your hard-earned money. So the biggest question that we're asking this evening is that how is there a pattern emerging with scams like this? What is it that you need to know to protect yourself? Let me also now bring in our guests to take this conversation forward. We have Jitain Jain, cybersecurity expert. We also have Ajit Kurana, crypto expert and founder of Reflexical. We also have Siddhant Tyagi, who has been a fraud victim in previous cases. We also have Sandeep Ji now joining us on the broadcast. He, in fact, is Hardik's uncle who unfortunately lost his life because of a scam like this. Sandeep Ji, before I bring in our other guests, I want to begin the conversation from, from uh, with you to try and understand ki Hardik ke saath kya hua tha. Hardik ne kitna paisa invest kara tha, kaun se app pe invest kara tha aur uske saath kya hua. Kuch batai hai humare darshakon ko. Sandeep ji, aapko awaz aari hai meri? Hello? Sandeep ji, aap sun pa rahe hai? Hello? जी संदीप जी हम आपको सुन सकते हैं आपको मेरी आवाज आ रही है 
मैं संदीप बात कर रहा हूँ क्या मेरे से बात कर रहे हैं आप? जी जी मैं आप ही से बात कर रही हूँ मैं हार्दिक के बारे में आपसे पूछ रही थी कि हार्दिक ने कितना पैसा इन्वेस्ट किया था क्या आपको क्या पता था इस ऐप के बारे में क्या हार्दिक ने कुछ बताया था कुछ बताइए हमारे दर्शकों को की क्या हुआ था हार्दिक के साथ नहीं एक्चुअली हार्दिक ने इन्वेस्ट किया था ये सब हमें हार्दिक की डेथ के बाद मालूम चला कि हार्दिक ने थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड अप्रोक्सीमेटली अपनी मदर के अकाउंट से निकाले थे और लगभग पच्चीस हजार रुपये उसने अपने फ्रेंड से लिए थे जी। उसके अलावा जो साइट के जरिए उसको कुछ पैसा मिला था उसने वो इन्वेस्ट किया जो लगभग लाख रुपए के आसपास बैठता है लेकिन लास्ट मोमेंट तक हमको ये पता नहीं था कि हार्दिक ऐसे किसी उसमें इन्वॉल्व है जब डेथ हुई और उसको डिग आउट किया गया तब मालूम चला कि हार्दिक किसी ऐसे उसमें इन्वॉल्व था लेकिन अभी भी ये लग रहा है कि वो जो पैसा उसको दिया गया है वो कहीं ना कहीं जो प्रोडस्टर्स थे उन्होंने उसको एक एक्स्ट्रा इनकम का झांसा देकर उसको उसमें इन्वॉल्व किया और बाद में ये ब्लैकमेलिंग में कन्वर्ट हो गया और वो ब्लैकमेल करने लगे लेकिन चूंकि हार्दिक ने डेथ से लगभग एक डेढ़ घंटे पहले अपनी माता को कॉल किया था कि मम्मी मैं घर पर आ रहा हूँ तो हमें ये नहीं लगता कि हार्दिक को ये मालूम था कि उसके साथ क्या होने वाला है तो हार्दिक को एक बिल्डिंग में बुलाया गया और धोखे से उसको वहां से ऊपर से फेंक दिया गया जो बाद में ये हुआ कि हार्दिक की डेथ हो गई लेकिन अभी भी पुलिस उसको डिग आउट नहीं कर पाई है किसने ये किया है क्योंकि बहुत ही रहस्य में परिस्थितियां हैं ये किस तरीके से ये हुआ है जी संदीप जी जैसे आप हमें बता रहे हैं कि आपको डेथ से पहले नहीं पता था कि हार्दिक किसी ऐसे प्लेटफॉर्म पर एक्टिव है बट अब काफी यू नो पुलिस ऑफिशियल्स भी काम कर रहे हैं वो समझना चाहते हैं कि कौन से ये लोग थे प्रॉक्सी सर्वर्स कहाँ थे तो अब कोई क्लैरिटी आई है कि कितने टाइम से इंफ्रोस्टर्स से हार्दिक की बातचीत चल रही थी और उन्होंने उसको क्या प्रोमिस करा था क्योंकि आजकल जो काफी बच्चे हैं एंड दिस इज वेरी बिकम्स प्रॉब्लमैटिक दैट लॉट ऑफ यंगस्टर्स सी दिस एज अ यू नो क्विक वे to make a lot of money so you know if you have 500 rupees the fraudsters will say it will convert into 50000 to sandeep ji kya ab aapko koi understanding hai ki aise kya promises kare gaye the hardik ko keval keval ek hi understanding abhi tak hui hai kyunki ye sara jitna bhi hai ye jo calls hain calls ke zariye nahi hai ye telegram ke madhyam se hai sara aur telegram ke madhyam se hone par ye hai कि टेलीग्राम में अगर कोई भी एक बंदा जो कन्वर्सेशन में है वो टेलीग्राम की टेलीग्राम के ग्रुप को डिलीट कर दे तो बहुत सारी चीजें वहां से वॉश आउट हो जाती हैं तो ये देखा है हमने जो पीछे एक दो बस एक दो लाइनें ही मिली हैं टेलीग्राम में जिसमें हार्दिक ने उनको ये बोला है कि आपने आ, मेरे साथ फ्रॉड किया है यानी ऐसा लगा है जो पुलिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन में आया है कि हार्दिक को पहले एक झांसा दिया गया कि यू कैन मेक एक्स्ट्रा मनी बाई डूइंग पार्ट टाइम वर्क ऑन मोबाइल तो उन्होंने वो किया जिसके अंदर अपने एमेजोन और फ्लिपकार्ट की फेक वेबसाइट बनाई उन्होंने जिस वेबसाइट में ये कहा गया कि भाई आप वेबसाइट पे जो ऑर्डर आ रहे हैं इन ऑर्डर को अप्रूव कीजिए और पर ऑर्डर आपको फिफ्टी रुपीज हंड्रेड रुपीज ऐसे मिलेगा और कुछ ट्रांजेक्शन ऐसी हैं जो हार्दिक के अकाउंट से दिख रही है कि उसके अकाउंट में ट्रांसफर हुआ है पैसा जी संदीप जी जो आप हमें बता रहे हैं ना वो काफी क्रूशल है क्योंकि ये जो क्लिक बेट्स की हम बात करते हैं वो क्लिक बेट्स ऐसी ही होती है जैसे हार्दिक के पास इन फ्रॉडस्टर्स की गई होगी बट दिस इज वेर आई वांट टू ब्रिंग जितेन इन द कॉन्वर्सेशन जितेन आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड यू नो वी वर स्पीकिंग अबाउट समथिंग सिमिलर अ कपल ऑफ मंथ्स गो एज फार एज द चाइनीज लोन एप्स फॉर कंसर्न एंड नाउ वी स्पीकिंग अबाउट अनदर सिमिलर स्कैम सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड How are these platforms able to carry out scams like this so easily? Where are the lapses? What is it in the platform itself or the functioning of the platform itself that's allowing scams like these? But you know, even uh, you remember when we uh, uh, did a uh, show on Chinese loan app yeah. scams. I think the scams were running for almost one and a half two years. Many True. people were talking about in Instagram, you know, Facebook, tweeting out that how the scams were running. And you know, probably the police machinery across the states were woke up only after many young lives were lost. Mm. And this is what is happening with again with the crypto scams on Telegram now. A system needs a life to be lost to wake up, and this is such a sorry state that I don't know. I mean, like I feel sorry for what happened to that young guy. Yeah. But we must understand that you know how if you if you carefully see for the you know safety of other kids who uh, who may be uh, looking to invest in crypto, I think don't fall for such scams. And this is not only Telegram. I think you will find. 
I mean, I was added to so many random Telegram groups in last one year. Uh, I just wanna be to get uh, you know uh, this high rocketing uh, mm. profits by investing in some trader apps on uh, trading crypto. Uh, I exited those groups, but you know what happens? That these days, most of the youngsters spends a lot of time on Instagram, mm. Facebook. So you will find this you know good looking uh, models from European countries, especially females approaching you and then if you see the profile they've got this luxurious lifestyle with you know luxury cars and you know this the savvy holidays and stuff and their bio says they are they are traders i mean essentially they call themselves crypto traders and yeah. all it is it is a methodology a modus operandi to tell and lure people that look if you invest in crypto you can have this so much of money and lifestyle and these mm. people are out there to help you and from there you are taken to some telegram groups to discuss about the apps and in in, in in those groups you'll find thousands of people as members now the problem here with telegram is that unlike whatsapp groups in telegram you don't need a phone number to make an account i mean you can make your phone number private so if if you know if on a whatsapp so group essentially added, jitin, 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 just small clarification right then so essentially without your consent you can be added to any of these groups yes, and you, you wouldn't be... know what's actually happening on these groups and that's where the no, trap actually so... begins no you would get a notification that you have been added but you cannot see the person who has added you because he will have an id so the point i'm trying to make is that on telegram a person can hide his mobile number and you can contact anyone by just using his telegram id you don't hmm. need a mobile number and that is okay. where the first obstacle for police starts if they want to investigate they do not even have a mobile how number how do you go back unlike yeah. other you know this uh, scams and all so uh, since telegram allows only to add users by this some user id or something it becomes extremely difficult to then catch out these people now second uh, on this telegram groups these are you know a broadcast list in a way that only admins are allowed to post messages so they will be posting about stories of how people got rich how much money who made but any negative feedback does not come on the group because nobody is uh, no individual user is allowed to message back so people don't get to know that how many people have been conned they think that the thousands of people who are part of this groups are actually making money out of these things third you know they are initially given some money back to hmm. make them believe that, that, uh, that they are actually is, making mo shakuni wali chal rahe pehle do baar jita do baad mein dhoka denge so they they actually give you money back to make you invest big and that that is where and, the problem and you know jitain when you lose play, your money so it's not just a one time money that you're yeah. using with every transaction you keep losing money from your bank account no, till the will, time it actually a... becomes zero but jitin i'll just request you to stay on with no. us i quickly want Ritima, to bring Ritima, Ritima, it ritima 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 please one thing is very important we have hmm. to understand hmm. why telegram becomes extremely critical in pulling off this large scale scams because i think users must know that for a scammer to you know scam a person on whatsapp or facebook you need one person to talk to someone telegram allows you to use bots so automated bots ah. can speak to thousands of you know the people at a time and scam thousands of people True. and essentially it is only one guy who is running on those bots yeah. so on whatsapp or facebook or any other media so you, i think this is crucial what jitain is saying as as far as the functioning of the app itself that if you don't have a phone number also when you tell the authorities that what are they what are you doing they don't even know how to even track these people but ajit i want to bring you in the conversation as far as how crypto exchanges are now being linked with these scams so what are the red flags that should go up for somebody who is a crypto investor or a crypto user to know that possibly this is not the real crypto exchange but a scam that's playing out just very quickly anybody using telegram right now go to settings within settings go to privacy and security within that go to groups and channels and make sure that nobody can add you to a group without your permission hmm. this setting is extremely important and will take care of a lot of these problems answering your question ridima there are three things that users can do to prevent getting scammed in this way on a crypto exchange number 1 if there is a crypto exchange account make sure you have opened it do not ever accept a login id and a password by somebody else who may secretly have added their wallet address so when you are putting money they can withdraw it so please open your account yourself number 2 please go with reputed exchanges which require kvc kyc number 3 often i find that the three common things that are used by crypto scammers are one they will talk of trading returns mm. second they will talk of mining returns third they will talk of farming or liquidity farming returns because these sound sufficiently fancy that you believe oh maybe i can make a overnight uh, you know million right there the fact is that all of these methods while they may be valid also give very low returns like mining returns are very very low i don't do mining because the returns are very low so please do not think that there is any such thing as get rich quick if somebody is asking you to perform certain actions on your device 
that they are in touch with you. Maybe they're sending you instructions. Maybe somebody is getting on touch with you, a video conference and say, hey, go to this app. Hey, click this, etc. Nobody should ever tell you what you should do on your uh, device. True. You can hear their instructions, but then decide what you are doing. In fact, even UPI scams are often done this way where some, you are sending money instead of receiving money, etc. And lastly, I think at the heart of it all is the fact that I have been in crypto now for more than six years. Mm. Believe me, viewers, there is no way to make money quick. There is no way to become overnight rich. If somebody is offering you that, they are without any doubt lying. Of I think course, this is so by crucial, you know, Ajit, and we say this every single time. And I'm very glad that you're saying this. Two things that Ajit is saying, and I'm just going to quickly repeat them because this is very crucial for any viewer who is watching us or any young crypto investor also. One there is nothing which is going to give you money overnight. Secondly, as Ajit rightly pointed out, any exchange or any firm which says that you don't have to do KYC, that should be your first red flag and say, boss, something is not right here. But I quickly want to bring in Siddhant also in the conversation. Siddhant, you know, we've spoken a couple of times even when we were doing stories around the Chinese loan apps. It's important to hear from people like you. Talk to us about the kind of conversation you had with the frosters and why did you think that all of this was authentic? Hi, good evening, Ridhima. So I would like to start by explaining a little about what went wrong. Hmm. So I have been involved with certain crypto investment companies who are doing actual work, legit work. But my concern here is with Telegram, because it is an autonomous, uh, you can call a platform, or it, it has servers distributed amongst five countries. Yeah. It's based out of Dubai. And we don't have any local operations in India where we can go and actually certify or there's, some, there's no one who can talk about the data that is being shared there, people who are part of that uh, app, people who are chatting there. So if something, if someone pulls a scam in the traditional environment, so the government is able to track it down through True. Airtel and these telecom companies. But in the case of Telegram, that is just not possible because it is all, all of that is happening online on the digital environment. So there, so people who are aware when it comes to the fraudsters, they're more aware than the investors, I would say. Yeah. So with me, in my case, Clearly. what they did was they impersonated the whole project that I was a part of. So like uh, the learned Ajit sir said, and even Jitain sir pointed out that these fraudsters, what they do, they add you to random groups. Mm. But at the same time, there's another, it's not, the whole situation is not black and white. There's a gray area to it too, which we really need to understand which I would suggest is when there are certain companies which are actually doing the right work and taking investment in the right manner, but in order to do some community building, they use Telegram as a platform. Yeah. A lot of fraudsters sign up to those platforms and get part of the, those groups to able to identify through the conversations with the yeah. actual company mm. and they figure out that, okay, these are the people who are wallet holders and who actually have money. Yeah. So they privately message them, try to impersonate the actual project and they just change Probably one so, you know, there are two things happening here. The... As far as the Chinese loan apps were concerned, you made a very clear list of the vulnerable victims. And as far as the Telegram scam is concerned, as uh, you know, Siddhant is also rightly pointing out, you make a separate list of people who you know already have the money so you can privately message them. This is how the fraudsters are working. But Jitin, quickly, I want to go back to the question I started the show with. Whether it was a Chinese loan app, so whether it is this scam, the biggest concern is as far as these proxy servers are concerned, links and origins being seen in places like China and Hong Kong. What is the long-term solution to crack down on these proxy servers? So proxy server itself are not a problem because proxy is used for multiple things. See, the problem with crypto is anonymity. Hmm. Uh, you know, in Chinese loan scams, you are actually given real uh, money in INR uh, denominations and uh, the proceeds of crime and scams were then converted into crypto and then uh, were used for money laundering to hmm. China and Russia. Here, the original transactions are itself in crypto. So it's, it's very, very difficult to crack. I mean, they say that if you want to track a criminal, follow the money trail. Mm. In this case, money trails are absent yeah. uh, because you are making transactions which are in different geographies and that too in crypto. So it's extremely difficult. So I think what, what right now uh, probably RBI or MHA ought to do, I think we'll have to take a very clear stand whether crypto is allowed in India or mm. not allowed, whether you ban it or leave it. Living it in a gray area where you want to tax the crypto transactions, the digital assets, and yet not regularize them or you know validate them or then allow them, 
I think we are living in this gray zone. Mm. So I think government has to take a very clear stand. In my opinion, a if well, the government has already them, made their reservations should... very clear, and that is no, why they, they have these reservations that then you know they, should... they feel that one the numbers are exaggerated, yeah. and this is exactly that fear that you can fall, you know, prey to scams like these as well. And that is why I'm saying this again before as I quickly wrap the show. Keep your eyes and ears open. All the red flags that we mentioned. Just ask yourself: Are you now falling trap? to these fraudsters and to this scam as well i'd like to thank all our guests it's a wrap from my side plain speak is up next